All right, what's up YouTube? So I just watched the Devin Larrett seminar, which is basically two hours of him talking about advice when it comes to arm wrestling through his experience, uh, his philosophies on training, where the sport is going. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description of this video because I highly recommend it to anyone who's trying to learn in arm wrestling, whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, there's so much valuable information in that video and watching it just kind of reaffirm some of the thoughts that I have right now as far as training, how I train, my training philosophy, the main thing being that you never want to fail in training. It should always feel good. You want to increase the, uh, the weight uh, over time, but not by always breaking yourself down and being hurt. You want to um, essentially have your days where you're getting blood flow just for recovery and then you're pushing uh, on the days where you feel good, but you're not you're not going to that 100% intensity. You're working between like 80 to 90% of your your maximum weight. Basically, you're not maxing out because you want to build strength. You don't want to test strength, and that's a, a very important concept when it comes to training. But another thing I took away from the video, which was fantastic, was Devin talking about the future of arm wrestling and how it's really basically on the cusp of blowing up right now with social media and everything he talked about how uh major networks are going to potentially carry arm wrestling be it tv shows different stations and stuff like that and not only that but just in terms of the events he was even hinting at the world arm wrestling league coming back which is fucking huge if you know what the world arm wrestling league is it was basically the united states is uh biggest arm wrestling league in about the past 10 years in terms of they had it on ESPN at one point, I believe. They had it on uh, other big channels. I can't remember the exact one, but it's basically the World Arm Wrestling League, and they had Devin, they had Michael Todd, Jerry Catteret, a lot of the best guys in North America, but um, before before the whole COVID thing happened and it kind of died off, that whole league basically has, has not existed in the past three, four years, but um, potentially there's talks of them bringing that back, which would entail that there would potentially be stuff like regional qualifiers which would mean people from across the u.s would be able to go to tournaments and try and qualify to get into the world arm wrestling league to get that professional spot and for there to be money because from what i heard there's a lot of money in uh a promotion such as the world arm wrestling league which is really i think that's a dream for a lot of people who are younger in the sport and arm wrestling to actually call it a career and call it when you're a professional arm wrestler you're not just competing in a pro class but you're actually competing in a pro class but you're actually making money from it which is what truly what the term professional means in a sense not just a highly competitive arm wrestler you're a highly competitive arm wrestler but you're also making money doing it which is huge and i think the opportunities will only grow in the sport which is fantastic another thing that's happened is larry wheels moved to los angeles and his uh filmer adam and they organized the King of the Table events, I believe. And Devin was also hinting at potentially them moving the King of the Table events to the US, to somewhere in either Southern California or Las Vegas, which would be fantastic. I live in Vegas or even having it in Southern California would be pretty close. Would be awesome to have more events when it comes to pro arm wrestling in the States. And they've had the King of the Table in Dubai for a while. That was during the whole COVID period, like I said, Larry Wheels was living in Dubai at the time, and really he's taken a liking to arm wrestling in the past two, three years, so it's awesome to see him here in America again, in Southern California, and he actually just uploaded a video today, which was super cool, it was, uh, can you beat this skinny nerd in arm wrestling, and the, the dude was Will Klingman, who's a guy from Alpha Empire, super strong dude at 165 pounds, he just beat Alan Fisher at the LA Fit Expo, the California Championships, so... It's so cool just seeing Larry involved with the sport of arm wrestling down here. I'd really like to arm wrestle him. I've never arm wrestled Larry, and I would love to just in training or even in a tournament. I think he's pulling super heavyweight. He's probably about 250, 260. He just pulled super heavyweight at the LA Fit Expo, but man, it would be awesome to train with him. So I wanted to give my thoughts on that video with uh, Devin, the seminar. Like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the bio. I really recommend this video, the things you talk about, he talked about our just amazing concepts in, in terms of training. He went to uh, very specific detail as far as mindset, training for arm wrestling. The main three things that I took away from, uh, you know, the focus in training is the rising, cupping, and rolling. Those are the three basic fundamentals. Obviously, there's supination as well, but 
you just talked about how basically rising is uh, one of the most important ones because you can control where the match grows from there. Once you get a high position, you can you can basically dictate the the direction of the match, which is fantastic. Another thing you talked about was freedom arm wrestling, which I think is super cool. And I've actually never tried freedom arm wrestling, but I'm really eager to. Basically, the concept of freedom arm wrestling is that you have there's no pads, so instead of having like a regular pad, you just have like a big table, and it's not even like the size of this. From what I've seen, there's like uh, you know big long tables, and your whole objective is to get to pull them off the edge and hold them. I I don't know these specific rules yet. So anyways, to wrap things up, check out the video from Deb in the seminar. I highly recommend it. So much valuable information in there. If you're trying to improve or you just love arm wrestling, I highly recommend watching it. Other than that, my training, I want to talk about my training. My training has been phenomenal. Just came off that tournament win last weekend and I'm back to training in the gym. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Got more training. Every single day I'm training arm wrestling. I'm not going high intensity every day. I'm, I'm changing up the weight, but I'm always refining my skills, getting blood flow or doing some type of arm wrestling movement every single day, basically. And I just can't wait to compete again, keep climbing the ranks. It's my goal to, um, in the next five years, be the number one in my weight class in North America. I think I can be the number one at 242. I'll look back at this video and see um, see how far I've come in the future, I'm sure. And I'll, that's one of the things in general about me uploading videos on YouTube. I think it's a great thing because to be ahead of the curve, like Devin said, with the sport blowing up, if you're uh, making a name for yourself now, rather than later, you're gonna stand out even more because the sport is only getting even bigger and it's fantastic. Like when I started, the views on YouTube and stuff like that, even like the, the biggest arm wrestling creators, like guys like Ryan Bowen had like 30,000 subscribers. Now he's at like 100,000. Uh, um, Coach Ray and Voice of Arm Wrestling was, I don't know the exact number, but just the numbers have just absolutely skyrocketed in the arm wrestling community, which is just a sign that it's blowing up. So. I'm very optimistic about that and it's great news for everyone in the community really so leave a like leave a comment what type of arm wrestling videos do you want to see I've been making a lot of um, instructional videos on training different fundamentals in arm wrestling because I think it's important for uh, you know there'll be some beginners who can watch that and take something from that and I love to help out because I'm so passionate about the sport so for me to make videos on this and share my thoughts. I really enjoy doing that. So a lot more is gonna be coming soon. Cannot wait to compete again and get back on the table. But for now, it's gonna be a lot of training. I'm gonna post gym training videos, uh, arm wrestling on the table videos as far as training and just other arm wrestling related videos on topics, on events, on training. So that's it, I'm kind of rambling at this point, but you get the point. That's it. I'm out.